Stop motion animation is a lot of fun. Here's an animation I made at home on my phone with a little over 300 images. It took about two hours altogether. Once you have the right shots, the rest of it goes surprisingly fast. Whatever kind of software you're using to edit your video, there's a way to do stop motion. I used Adobe After Effects for this one. Flopping around on the floor. It can be a little bit of a workout. That's as far as I go. Ow. <laughs> Here are a few tips for capturing your images. Tip one, use a tripod. And you don't want to move the tripod until you're done with the scene. Tip number two, it's best not to touch your camera. I recommend using a remote to trigger your camera, like this one. Tip number three, keep your lighting as consistent as possible from shot to shot. Once you have the settings you like on your camera, it's best to lock them into place. I use an app called First Light by Filmic. First Light makes it easy to adjust, set, and lock your exposure and focus into place while using your remote to trigger your camera. The built-in camera on your phone will totally do the trick. Have a plan going into your animation. A simple rough storyboard will do the trick just so you know you're getting the right shots and you're not forgetting something. Once you have all the shots you need, it's time to import them into Adobe After Effects. Open up After Effects and import those photos. Shortcut, Command, or Control I. 329 photos. I always create a composition here. It saves a little bit of time, like five seconds. So really not that much time. It saves some time later. So I'm gonna check open. If you didn't create a composition when importing your images, do that now by selecting all and dragging them to the composition icon. After Effects is going to have some questions. Here's your settings for your composition. Single composition, the dimensions, from this shot are going to be the same as the dimensions in the last shot uh, because I didn't change them at all when I was shooting. For the duration, I like about two frames. Um, so I'm going to keep that at two frames. You want to make sure that sequence layers is checked and that overlap is not checked. And once you have all of these set, it's a piece of cake after this. All you do is press OK and it's going to import these into a composition and there's our composition all 300 and however many shots 329 at two frames a piece bring that up everything looked good on the first try so i exported it into adobe premiere where i had some fun chopping it up and adding sound effects it was fun to animate the wiggle and the chain prop it's extremely helpful to know the principles of animation before you get started Follow the links below that do a better job of explaining it than I ever could. Here's some more weird animations I made using this method. Stop Motion USA